Hey, deja vu. Maybe a little bit different. Um, it's me again. Uh, told you I was going to do another video. Told you that. I don't lie. So anyways, um, yeah, so I wanted to do another one. And I kind of, um, I want to pick something that is metal. Um, and I think that um, is a really classic, classic album, really. Um, and it's uh, this one. Now, some may argue that um, the album, what album was it? Rest in Peace was their, you know, best thing they ever did. And, you know, that might be true for some, but for me, I think this, this record actually edges out uh, that one by that much. Because um, this right here is just a classic, classic record. Classic metal album that I think no matter what kind of metal you're into or heavy music you're into, you kind of owe it to yourself and your family to own this album. Uh, you know, um, I remember being a youth, a young kid, and uh, just getting into like heavy music, getting into metal, and um, I remember looking at, uh, I was really big into looking at labels, because like, I had no idea, like, you know, who was what, who was where and why, and uh, the combat label uh, was kind of like big to me, I guess, back then. Um, so I just got turned on to Metallica. This was about 1987. And I was like 13, 14 years old or whatever it was. And um, I just got turned on to Metallica. Master of Puppets blew my mind. Um, I believe and I also... Oh, and I borrowed a nuclear assault tape. That was on combat. I believe it was combat. And I thought, wow, you know, nuclear assault is really cool. Um, Electra really didn't have a whole lot as far as metal went. But I said, oh, combat is cool. So I remember going to the record store and uh, going to the tapes and looking through their metal section and, you know, looking at specifically pulling the, you know, the tape out. I don't know if you guys remember, but they had the little tapes in this long plastic thing they used to use to keep the tapes in. And I go through and look at each one, you know, combat, combat, metal, and I went to the M's, you know, thinking whatever. I don't know. I came across Megadeth. And the first tape I bought of theirs was So Far So Good So What, which is really a, a, was a lackluster record. And I think it was like a few months later, I went back and saw my combat trip, um, and I found um, this one on tape. Just about blew my mind. Um, I just thought, all in all, this album was phenomenal. Every song on it was just great riff, riffs. Um, really good, uh, um, the songwriting, it was an excellent album, I mean, like, every song on here, and this is the capital reissue of it, but, um, I'm telling you, like, this album right here is magnificent, um, so, I mean, this is a no-brainer when I saw this album, which I had no idea they actually reissued, um, but in this incarnation of the band, he had Chris Pollard on guitar, uh, Gar Samuelson, Samuelson on drums, and David Elfson on, uh, uh, yeah, Elfson on bass. Um, so like I say, this is a good album. You know, I think in their career, I would say this this one and um, Rest in Peace, I guess, would be... I I like this one better, guys. This album right here is a little bit better than this one. You wanna know why? Because I'm saying so this one. But that's just my own personal uh, opinion. And I'm sure other people have their opinions. Like, I got into an argument with my friend. He said, no, dude, Rust and Peace is better than that one, dude. There's more classic songs on it, bro. Like, you just don't understand. I'm like, dude, I understand. I understand this. But, um, you know, Good album, man. If this was a masterpiece, and um, again, I recommend it. 
if you can find it, get it on vinyl. If not, download it. Or whatever you got to do, YouTube this stuff. It's probably all over YouTube. If you haven't heard it yet, again, you must have this record. If you do not find this record some way, somehow, then something bad will happen. I still don't know what that is. But anyways, anyways, I hope you liked the video and comment, do your thing, you know what to do. I'll see you guys on the flippity flip side. Take care everybody and um, I'll be talking to you guys really soon. Alright, laters.